All right, folks, we've been talking about the big interview with Volta all week today. We're making it happen. Uh, this is Jack Johnson, co-founder and CTO. CTO now. Yes. CTO now of Volta Power Systems. Um, just a super great guy, somebody I really admire that's really taken innovation to the RV market and other places. He's granted us a few minutes today to talk about Volta, RV Lithium, um, some other things on our on our minds, including some really big announcements. So Jack, thank you for You're joining welcome. us this morning. Thanks for having me. So we're going to share the, this back and forth, but um, let's start with, um, you guys had some really big announcements this uh, this week here at the RV Super Show in Florida, January 2021. Um, you guys are putting in the, uh, and I get asked this all the time, whether RV systems have a Volta system in it. Um, you guys can supersize on this whole thing, right? Yeah, yeah, we've got, we've got. So yeah, we have four launches uh, uh, at the Super Show this year. Uh, we've got the the new Zephyr. It's got a 33,000 watt hour usable, 40,000 watt hour system. It's major power. Imagine your Travato, <laughs> but four exit, five exit. So now. Now the freedom and the and the way you use your coach at, on the small coach. Now you've got it on a class, uh, a mainstream class A. In case the van situation doesn't work out, need a little more space. How about a Volta system in a class A Tiffin? Yes, Volta has a new partnership with Tiffin, putting in massive system in a massive coach. Let's take a peek. So this is part of the sexy side of the. Volta system, inverter, here's the uh, inner screen gauge, fifty amps to go, here you see the battery boxes, battery box one, two, holy cow, that is a juicy system. And if you look at the cheat sheet here, 40,000 watt hours. Charge power from the alternator, 11,000 watts. Usable energy, 36,000 watts. Over almost four times as much as my Travato. Congratulations, Volta. Let's take a peek inside. Oh yeah, this is nice. Look at all the lighting, holy cow. Beautiful inset lights, recline couches, big TV. Looks like it pops up from the cabinet. Another big TV, wow, the woodwork is really beautiful. Galley, this is pretty. Farm style sink, that's the first time I've seen something like that. The induction cooktop, very nice. Huge microwave, awesome view. I like it when they do this, kind of a traditional, not banquette, but a dining table. Wine cooler, yes, every RV needs a wine cooler. And in case you need an espresso maker. <laughs> Residential style fridge, I'm guessing this is half bath. Yep, gorgeous. This is what we could take all fourteen. This is interesting. Mm. This is where you throw your laundry out for somebody else to do. Master bedroom with the TV, fireplace, barn door style, uh, locked door to the bathroom. Look at that shower! Holy cow! Why get out of it, really? Commode. Laundry in here somewhere. Yeah. Double sinks. A walk-in closet. With a wardrobe. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Uh, let's see if we can sneak a peek at the price. Oh, uh, no. That's not the price. Washer dryer, of course. You can have this for 628. So in a class A, very different way to RV. They typically go to an RV park or a camp and they stay mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. weeks or months. Mm -hmm. So how, why, 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 why have 50 amps of service, 33,000 hours of what? 
juice, wherever you go, what's, what's kind of the deal there? Well, that's a great question, and this is where I get passionate. So you think about why does somebody in, buy a big RV? They want to get away, right? Well, in today's world, where's the campgrounds, right? They're usually filled. How do you go on the spontaneous spur of the moment? Well, that to find a place to plug in. You're worrying, you're worrying when you leave, I gotta find where somewhere to stop. And in today's coaches, almost all of them be able to turn on the air conditioning, turn on the lights, run the fridge, you gotta start the generator. So one of those vehicles are relati relatively complex. So you have to get on board, fire up generators and drive, and you gotta do all the stuff and it makes a lot of work. And I believe that if you're buying a vehicle that you wanna get away, do you really want to go to the campground all the time? I think they go to the campground because they have to. They've not had the alternative. Now, with a, a MUF advanced energy storage on board, with the power capabilities, because that coach now produces 11,000 watts off the main engine to charge and run everything. So you get in there like yours, fired up. If you want to run all three ACs, run all three ACs. You want to run everything in the coach while you're driving down the road? Fine, do it. By the time you get to destination, you, you get tired, stop anywhere go key off your stealth you don't have to start a generator you're not bothering your neighbor you're you're a good steward enjoy your vehicle and and one of the things i talk to people is like if you've invested that kind of money and you're limiting yourself to be able to go because you 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 have to work out a big plan you got to find where to stop i mean you know, a lot of people even have to worry about how to turn around right you've got all this other stress well if you put our technology on and you just get two times more usability out of the vehicle that little price investment cut your your enjoyment cost in half so enabling these new uh experiences without any kind of compromise is what we're about and this is why i get excited because it's so much fun to see people realize how they've been limited based on technology and now Ooh, i'm excited to get a class a now i can just imagine being a harvest host where you don't see them because they run the generators and a lot of the harvest host sites don't allow generators to be run because it ruins the RV experience. Yeah, a lot of places. It's so annoying. They don't even let you run your generator now. Yeah. They'll say no generator hours. Well, how do you enjoy your big asset if you're going to be smothering inside? You got to go find yeah, a camp. It's and just, now, that's a good point. They go to the camps because they have to for power reasons. That's, yeah. I never really thought about it like that. And and now we're cut that umbilical. Now they can do what they want. And and to us, you're being a good steward. It's it's a, a good way to store energy. And now the flexibility of the vehicle goes up, and I think that cost per unit time actually goes down. Yeah, that's really fascinating. I, I was telling Jack when we got a ride this morning, I'm so spoiled with a Volta system in my Travato. I just don't know how the other guys do it um, without Volta. It's just it's just so freedom, no umbilicals. This carefree RVing is just amazing. <laughs> I wish you could make our own water as we can you guys work on that make your own water we're making our it electricity just takes power baby it just <laughs> takes power of course liberty uh which is a prevo uh converter we've been standard equipment on them for five years and they've just enjoyed great success with it and we love having them so they're here this year we have storyteller overland because they've been around a little while but this is their first time at the uh super show and they're showing off their amazing new beast and the stealths which are crazy amazing vehicles and then we have uh a demonstration of some of our technology in the new SSG. So we have a, what we call a solid state generator, which is basically all of the guts of your van the, or the Kia all in one little box. And so you can just plug it in, take it out or do whatever you want with it. Um, make it really easy to install new technology. Now what would somebody do with that? Well, the idea for that is, all right, so you've got a, a towable and you've got that fixed bay and you don't want to integrate the solution. Because um, the challenge for how we lay it out in a lot of these vans is like a hybrid electric vehicle. We integrate the components into the vehicle for maximum space, use. But some people want to have that ability to, well, I don't know what I want yet. And then you can just put it in. So this gives you 30 amp service anywhere you want. And you just got to plug it in with the normal plugins that you have with the coach. So I just want to make sure I get this right. So I get asked all the time, can I put a Volta system in my existing rig? Um, and so it sounds like Tobles able to have the space. It might be a little tough on a Travato, but what you're telling me is, if I heard you right, is you can have Volta to go. Yeah, yeah. And Slide it in your bay, moving in and out. If you got that front bay, they pump in, and you can just you don't have to do anything but plug it, plug the normal cord into that, and then when you want to plug in, you plug into the battery pack. It's all <laughs> one thing. So it's like a lot like a traditional generator, but it's all solid state, no moving parts. It's quiet. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> so how do you charge that? Uh, you can charge it from, we have the optional hookups for our alternator, so if you want to add it to your tow vehicle, so let's say you, you've got a rig, we have an umbilical, 
you can put our generators on your main tow vehicle and that'll charge it. You can charge it from solar, has solar capabilities. It's got um, your normal charge power, your normal shore power capabilities. All of it's integrated in, in one piece. That is so amazing. Innovation, folks, that's where it is, is in the electrical systems. We, uh, we made a big announcement this week, the um, partnership, uh, Go Small, Live Large, yes. and, and Volta being the brand ambassador. Thank you again for that uh, honor. Pleasure. thank you. Um, working with the dealers, it's a different angle, and the, the sales teams and the delivery teams. Um, maybe just give a little thoughts on, on you know, how we've been working together, what some of the feedback's been, and um, you know, where, where you see this year going. Thanks again, Scott, and um, you know, filling everybody in, a brand ambassador. You know, we, we're at Volta, we're a lot of automotive engineering rebels, and we have been learning how to help this community and learn more, and Scott bought his first Travada, and we've been watching his experiences, and he's asking great questions, and he's doing a great job helping people understand why we're so different. Because in the world, this world, changing world, you know, lithium, 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 you know, it's hard in today's, everything's so fast, you got only a certain amount of time to get people educated. And there is a huge difference between a traditional battery solution and what we're doing. You know, we're, the two technologies, we're an EV based solution and all the benefits that you just said, there's so many and it's hard to condense it. So we've asked Scott to help us and he's in his travels how about stopping by and working with the dealers and helping educate the sales teams, educate the teams of like, hey, I'm a user. Look at all these different things and why this enables my lifestyle and makes my experience so much enjoyable. And at the same time, don't worry necessarily about that cost structure, but look at that overall cost per unit of time. Where am I, you know, I'm investing, you're investing this because you want to do this, you want to enjoy your time. You don't want to be frustrated all the time. You don't want to be running to fix things. You want that freedom it gives you and your passion comes through, you get excited, and you do a great job teaching, and that's, that's what we're about. And Volta wants to help educate this changing world. I mean, you saw the news, General Motors changing their brand, right? They're focusing on next generation EV technology. Uh, whether people realize it or not, the entire industry of what we've known forever in transportation is dramatically changing on everybody, and we all have to get educated and and this is what we're about helping uh, people understand without all the crazy sales pitches but at a good relationship driven education so thanks to that vote of confidence jack appreciate that it's so awesome just a thrill to be uh, you know hooked up with you guys it's just such a great team and you're really passionate about the customer experiences as am i so um speaking of customer experiences you guys in addition to some class a announcements and the solid state generator i just love that thing you guys had some uh, additional enhancements here at, at the show so something around display something like that what's uh, the story so the our new inverter and display uh really comes back from a lot of feedback we've been getting from customers on our first launches when we first designed our systems we wanted to be one button everything comes on well the traditional RVer had a little trouble with uh the idea that their inverter is always on. And our inverter is very powerful. I mean, it's equivalent 30 amp feet. It's three times, four times more powerful than any traditional uh, you'd, uh, inverter you see in this class. And so customers are asking, hey, I want that selectable. I'd like to be able to configure my system. They, were, they asked about dimmability on our lights and simplicity. They've asked for more information and more data. Um, so, and of course, our, our core customer, which is the OEMs, they want lighter weight, more available space. So we've launched a new uh, inverter charger, uh, still in our industrial focus, um, long performance expectations, but it's 30% smaller and lighter, about the same power, 3.2 kilowatts. So we're losing about 0.4 kilowatts, but we'll still do all the things you want, a much smaller package. It has an auto wake function. So if it doesn't see a certain amount of use or some time, it's gonna go to sleep automatically. So if you forget to the, turn the lights off before you leave, it's gonna take care, care of some of that for you. Uh, it's got a new display. So it's all, if for the techies out there, CAN-based communications, what is that? Well, look it up sometime, but it's how everything talks and makes a universal language. This gives us a new um, LCD touch display. The, the gauge, the gauge, our original gauge will still be available, but this new flat screen LCD, the gauge is there. It gives you estimated time remaining. A lot of the things you see in the app mm. is on that main screen display. It gives you configurability, light adjustment, and all sorts of new features. Um, and that helps, helps our customers uh, with some of the things they've been asking for, and as well as making the packages smaller and smaller. And we're just gonna continue. We got even more stuff coming. We're gonna continue to innovate. And that's what it's all about, is building great product that people can you know, experience and enjoy. 
So you mentioned some of those new the new displays and stuff. Um, I love my green button, my green light. Um, so the question I'm going to get asked, I know, is can I retrofit my old, you know, my existing system with some of that new technology? Well, that came up at the show. That was another great customer. It's like, well, <laughs> yeah, maybe. So we, we've been, uh, if that's something chewing that people that. want, we're chewing on it. <laughs> Let's send us feedback, and, and if it makes sense, maybe we could do that. But uh, uh, all the information is there. The um, yep, and it's all integrated already in the coach. It's just, uh, you know, we got to think through how we would do that in a retrofit to make it easy. Yeah, we like easy. Um, well, Jack, thank you so much for your time. Um, it's been just been a, a pleasure working with you guys the last year. In fact, this time last year, we sat in the uh, in my rig, Lily, yep. and we kind of sketched out some ideas, and we took a few months to put it together, and we've kind of, so again, just thank you for everything. It's just been such a tremendous um, learning experience, and just seeing the results already has been pretty pretty exciting. Um, we've enjoyed it, too. It's quite it, a journey. And yeah. An and it's part of the whole innovation uh, process, right? I mean, it's just, it's learning, it's sharing, and then let the people decide what's best for them. That's as long as they have the good that. information, yep. I think that's how we like to roll. Um, so thank you again for your time this morning. Really appreciate it. Um, hey, if you haven't been to their um, website, go to voltapps.com. <laughs> voltapps.com. Yeah. Then go to their YouTube channel. Um, so that we did a video together. Um, I'd love to see that thing blast out of space on the views and the thumbs up. Um, so if you haven't seen that, I'll link it down below. I'll put a little snippet here so you guys can take a look at it. But go go to their um, YouTube webpage, uh, YouTube channel page, YouTube and channel. Yep. and um, and uh, take a look at that video. They got some great resources there too, by the way, on the on the YouTube. Yeah, you're gonna see more and more short little educational stuff. Again, back to the education thing. What does this mean? What does that mean? Well, let me explain it. Um, if you like physics, like to know why the basics <laughs> and why things happen. A crazy awesome geek with a good personality. I love it. <laughs> well, thanks again, Jack. Really appreciate it. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. <laughs> you betcha. All right, man.